AmericanFreedomRadio.com and uh, national affiliates, uh, all you guys everywhere from Minnesota to South Dakota <laughs> to, uh, to Illinois, uh, Nebraska, and even here in Texas. I, I appreciate you picking up the show. Thanks for getting the word out. Uh, Larry, good to have you back on the program with us. I, I had a big thing on the Blair Holt legislation here in front of me, and then my computer froze. But why don't you give us the, the rundown? What does this mean, and uh, what are we doing here? It's a bill put in by an ex-con who spent time in jail in the 60s for gun, illegal gun charges. And he has, is a Castro lover, too. Uh, and he has the audacity to use his expertise as a criminal and an admirer of one of the great practitioners of confiscation of guns, Fidel Castro, uh, to uh, suggest that we put ourselves... In the same noose, uh, he would have all guns in this country registered. Uh, uh, the, the owners have a license. Uh, your home could be violated, invaded at any time by the federales to see if you're doing everything according to snuff. Uh, it's just a, a terribly offensive bill, which, of course, will really put an end to crime. Which never does. <laughs> no, no, never does. The criminals, darn, just don't seem to... Well, and this, message. this always seems to be taken out on the law-abiding citizens who, who, who don't misuse their firearms. It is amazing that Americans keep going along with this con job. Yeah, it, it's very much a con job. And uh, nobody uh, seems to slow these gun grabbers down by asking how many criminals obeyed the last umpty-ump gun laws? How many criminals do you think are going to obey this law? Um it's obviously uh, not something that they're concerned about, uh, and yet the the impositions then are only designed to be impositions on everybody else. I think there's really something wrong with that picture. I haven't figured it out yet, but, you know, i got the staff working on that. Well, I mean, we're dealing with some delusional people that think that the police and the military are, are going to come rescue them when... Uh... You know, <laughs> the criminals break in with their illegal guns and, uh, you know, rape and pillage into your home. Well, if they haven't finished the crime within 6 to 15 minutes yeah, or so, exactly. uh, they'll, yeah, they'll, they'll be there to take care of you. But you know what's more amazing, Larry, is that we're hearing food riots, a vaccine, mass pandemics, a craziness all around, and yet they don't want us to have guns to defend our neighborhoods and ourselves? I don't get it. No, exactly. Well, uh, they're not at all in favor of us uh, being the homeland security that the founders had in mind. Uh, that when they used the word militia in Article 1, Section 8, as well as in Amendment 2, that word was very well defined, and it still is. Uh, it, it was derived from 150 years of colonial experience, uh, and actually the post-colonial pre-formal U.S. Republican experience, a lot of years of history where we, we know exactly what the word militia means. It's every free man must have a military at the time of the founding of the Republic rifle. Today that would be a battle rifle like a M16 or an AK-47. That's homeland security, and that's what we ought to be falling back on when there's a crisis such as uh, Katrina or the years and years ago the uh, hurricane in St. Croix. Yeah. Uh, instead of bringing in, well, first of all, the police in St. Croix uh, not only were not available, they were part of the looters. Um, and, and there was a, some problem like that in Katrina. Why not, for goodness sakes, use the American people? Have them organized as we were for so much of our history by law, under uh, 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 charter by state legislature yeah. in various militia companies. So when it goes through the fan, people are organized already, know what to do, chain of command, and they can take care of business. Obviously, if we rely on folks from Washington, or for that matter, the state capitol, don't expect any help. Now, all they're going to do is keep help from coming. That's exactly what FEMA did. They They shooed away uh, fishermen who came in little convoys to uh, look for and rescue people. Oh, no, you're not licensed. You can't go in there. And, you know, all this night, just get these feds out of there. They don't have any jurisdiction constitutionally. Bye-bye. Get it gone. Have a nice day. We don't need you.
And if you come back again, we'll put you in jail. Well, right. And the people at Katrina obviously were per- the, the ones that survived and protected themselves and were able to stay in their homes are the ones that had guns, except for the old lady that was dragged out by the militarized police and sent to the Houston Astrodome, a makeshift FEMA camp. Uh, for They tackled her and threw her on the floor. For so they broke her collarbone, and they ultimately shipped her out to one of the Carolinas. And you and I spent about three grand... Uh, veterinarizing her doggy, and uh, you know it was just a huge mess. There were other people in upscale neighborhoods. They had their guns stolen by other uh, uh, unconstitutional police action. Uh, there was a store, a convenience store, that uh, had weathered. The owner had weathered the storm, and as the water was receding, was uh, almost licking her chops, waiting for uh, the business good times to roll had lots of ice and had some of the things she knew that people would want. And uh, along comes some federal marshals, steal her guns, and the store gets looted. We can go on and on like this. Uh, again, I mean, we, we had a... By the way, we've a, got... A, some a of similar that... law here in Texas, uh, the great Rick Perry has uh, passed uh, you know, forced evacuations. If you don't evacuate, they're going to kill you for your safety, is, is basically what they're saying. That's when, really lovely. Yes, uh, by the it? way, we've got some of this footage on our website at gunowners.org. If you go there and just search for Katrina, it'll come up in an index and you can yeah. see what news stations were capturing live before your very but eyes. They don't want us to have guns, so that's going to mess up their mass quarantines or whatever other awful thing they've got planned. And that's why after 9-11, instead of going back to the Constitution, uh, Bush and the other socialists in Washington... Uh, enlarged uh, the existing bureaucracies, added new bureaucracies, uh, and obviously in total contempt of the people and the, the whole militia concept, dissed that and just pretended like it never yeah, had been yeah. in the Constitution. Well, probably wasn't in the Constitution they read, because I don't think they ever read it. I was in the state legislature in Virginia, and I guarantee you my colleagues had not read either the state or the federal, even though we took an oath to uphold it. In right. fact, I had a broken elbow, my right arm, uh, the day we were sworn in, so I raised my left hand uh, when we took the oath. There were more than one guy that came up to me on the floor and said, <laughs> hey, that's pretty neat. I guess that doesn't count that way, right? <laughs> what, what a bunch of slime. 